Welcome to this screencast of using GeoGebra to construct a triangle given three sides. We're going to use a slider to z designate the lengths of the three sides. Our slider tool is here. And we'll put a slider right here. Uh, we'll call this first slider longest for the longest side. And we'll run from 0 to 20 for the length of the side. And here's our slider. Always good to make sure the slider works. I hit the selection tool or escape on the keyboard. And I move the slider and the slider slides. We will now use this slider to make a a segment with a given length. This starts out as a line tool and we will change this tool to a segment with a given length from a point. We'll put one point here and it says how long do you want your segment? We'll enter longest. Make sure your slider works. I hit escape, I move the slider, and the length should change on the segment. We'll have another slider for the second side. I'll call this one side two. And again, I'll have it go from uh, zero to 20. and uh, make sure that it slides. And this time we'll use similar to a compass. We will construct a circle with center and some radiance. The instructions say to select the center point and enter the radius. A will be the center of our circle and the radius will be side 2. Make sure your slider adjusts the radius of this circle. Now we'll do another slider for the last side. Slider, we'll put it here, call this one side 3. Go from, oh, I'll go from negative 5 to 20 this time. And uh, we'll c again construct a circle with center at B. And this time the radius will be side 3. Make sure that this slider controls this circle. Now, the intersection of these two circles will have this side be the length of side 3 and this side be the length of side 2. And so this will be the triangle that we want. We would like an intersection, point at the intersection of the two circles, this circle and this circle. We have two intersection points. We don't have to use both of them. And let's make our triangle with the polygon tool. First point, second point, third point, and back to the first point. It would also be nice to see the lengths of the three sides on the triangle. So with our measuring tool, we can measure the distance or length. And uh, if we want the distance from A to C, and the distance from C to B, and the distance from B back to A, and we can put these distances in a nice place. Oh, we could even start to polish things by 
if I double click on this and uh, excuse me if I right click on this and I go to object properties I could make this one uh, red and I could make the slider that goes with this one right click object properties color I could make this the same red and link up the side of this one with the side of the actual side on the triangle linking it with the slider um, remember GeoGebra is a dynamic program and if we uh, change anything so if I change side 2 it can make it longer or shorter and it will change the triangle uh, moving the longest side um, can give us different triangles uh, notice that if we make the longest side uh, too long then we do not get a triangle uh, this completes our side 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 triangle constructor constructor screencast in GeoGebra.